Hi lovely people, you are welcome once again to my channel. Let's make this Ghana yambos together. And here we have our ingredients, some fresh vegetables, some seasoning cube, breadcrumbs, the yam of course, some butter, paprika powder, salt and black pepper. So, so simple. Okay. Yeah. So here I'll just go ahead and peel my yam as you can see. We'll now go ahead at this time, cut my yam. Guys, cut this yam into any sizes of your choice. I decided to cut them a bit smaller so that it will be cooked faster, okay? So then after, I'll just go ahead and wash it and I have my water on fire already. So here I have my water which has come to a boil. I'll just add my washed yam, add some salt, cover it and allow it to boil. So whilst my yam is on fire, I'll just go ahead and prep my vegetables by chopping them fine. Okay. For the yam balls, guys, you want to really cut your vegetables very fine so that it will combine nicely with the yam. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm using the red bell pepper. I'm using onion, carrot, the green and yellow. Okay. I'll chop everything very fine and then we continue. So at this point we have our vegetables being uh, cut. Okay, I'm just adding them on a plate and then take it aside. Go back to my yam and then we check on it. Okay guys. We are almost there guys, this is so so simple and easy but yet delicious, okay? We eat this in Ghana a lot. Yeah, so that's my vegetables, I'll just set it aside. Back to the yam, I would now check if the yam is nicely boiled or cooked. But then I noticed it's not cooked, so now I'll leave it to cook for some time more. Back to my egg, I'll just add now a pinch of salt, very small bit with my fork. I also added about a tablespoon of water just to combine the egg very well. And that's what I have. I'll set it aside. And to the yam, our yam is nicely boiled now, okay? So into my clean bowl, I'll be adding them one after the other and then I'll mash them nicely like this, guys. You don't want to overhandle by mashing your yam, otherwise they will stick together and you will have some yam fufu, okay? That's not what we want. We want that fluffy yam. We want to have the best yam balls ever. Yeah, so this is what we have. Our yam is nicely mashed and this is what I am talking about. Look at it. Very fluffy, yeah? So that is why you have to make sure you don't over mash them. Okay, so into my pan now I'm adding my butter. I also add my chopped vegetables. Give them a quick stir. I'll also go ahead and add all my seasoning. That's my paprika powder. There comes some black pepper. Guys, go ahead and use any seasoning of your choice. You can just add salt if that's what you want okay i'll list everything in the description box also as well you can please go ahead and check i'll now give it a quick stir leave it just one minute on fire and our vegetables is finished i will now add it to the mashed yam we had before okay and then with my fork i'm mixing everything together guys i don't want them to stick together so that is why with my fork and mixing them nicely together yeah and then we will form our yam balls guys look at it look at these beautiful colors yes because our vegetables were nicely fine chopped they combine combine with the yam very well look at it okay i'll now go ahead and form the sizes that i'm going for and this is what you have guys our yam balls are nicely formed yeah to my breadcrumbs i'll just add about a tablespoon of meal of flour yes 
<laughs> mix them together okay so i'll now take my yam balls dip it in my egg and then into my breadcrumbs mixture okay the breadcrumbs is more than the flour i just added a little bit of flour to combine them so nicely okay and that's what i am doing until everything is nicely coated okay and then we will fry it yes so whilst i'm doing it i also have my oil on fire already guys we don't want to waste any time the kids are already waiting yeah <laughs> yeah so i'll do the same procedure until everything is finished yes and this is what we have our yam balls is nicely coated and ready to be fried look at it guys yes so it goes into my oil i will just drop them inside okay and then leave it for some time and then i'll go ahead and turn them okay yes looking so so beautiful already look at it guys oh my god look at this color look at this color look at this this is so so nice guys it smells so amazing and it tastes also yummy okay thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate all of you watching my video up to this time if it is your first time coming across my video you are welcome you can also go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yeah guys yeah so now the Yam balls has fried nicely all over. You can see this golden brown color, perfect. So I'm just taking them out of the oil and I'll go ahead and fry the rest. And our yam balls is ready to be served. Thank you guys so much for my returning subscribers. I say thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate your time. I don't take any of you for granted. So ladies and gentlemen, there we have our yam balls i present them to you go ahead and eat with your shaker with your chili green pepper sauce and you will thank me later yes our yam balls is finished served guys looking absolutely delicious and yummy look at the outside very creepy look at it okay and then the inside is so so fluffy guys look at this beautiful color we have there yes 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 thank you guys once more thank you so much for coming i appreciate all of you i appreciate your coming yes share this video out if you can till i'll see you guys in my next video thank you